Tonight we continue our prep football previews with the team that left last season on top of the 5ASIC. With three state titles in the last six years, the Rocky Mountain football program is rolling right now. So we have tradition, so we're proud of that. We communicate that. You know, anytime you win a state title, it's pretty rewarding. Last year, little seemed to go right for most. It was awesome. Had a lot of really good kids. However, the Grizz handled their biz and turned an otherwise forgettable fall into a banner 2020. What goes through my mind is we've had a couple really successful years, but we still have a lot to prove. I'm here to show everyone that that we still are that same team and can come out and fight. Considering the program has frequented this path to the podium, the players are well versed in what the journey requires to get back to the top of the 5A classification. We have such good coaches and a good family around the players here and we know we know what to do, how to win and how to get to state and it's like the greatest feeling in the world. You just want to do it again. Rocky will have a number of new names stepping into the spotlight, but they are no strangers to the program. They've been through the system for four years. Some of these guys, it's it's kind of exciting because they know what we're doing and they're, they're ready to go. Junior Tegan Sweeney will most likely take over as the trigger man behind center. There you go. And he will be surrounded by weapons. Tight ends CJ Jacobson and Jackson Mason are massive. And Cade Thompson, along with transfer Hunter Stecker, will emerge as two of the best playmakers in the SIC. Then there is running back Art Williams, a junior that burst onto the scene last fall and figures to carry an even bigger load this fall. Oh, he's really good. We're expecting a lot of big, good things from him. Super talented, super physical. He's definitely not afraid to get in there and mix it up, and he's a great player. Up front on both sides of the ball, the Grizz boasts some serious potential. However, it's the kid in the middle of the defense, linebacker Caden Kelly, that will be must-see TV. He's a tremendous leader. We moved him to the Sam, which is kind of a more, a little bit more dynamic and bigger play kind of position. I really love um, our defensive schemes, and we play really hard, we play really aggressive, and that's what's got us to where we are with the state championships and whatnot. Back for his fifth season as head coach. Yeah, I love it, I couldn't be happier. Chris Kulig won't waste any time testing this team. In just two days, the Grizz will make the trek to Eastern Idaho to face another perennial power right out of the gate. There's definitely a lot of pressure, especially opening up with a zero week game and having a game a little bit early, earlier than other teams. The stakes couldn't be much higher. A daunting task, no doubt, but it's another opportunity for Rocky to prove they don't rebuild, they just replenish their roster. And as they figured out in the past few years, with pressure comes diamonds. You know, I always tell them it's every year is a new family. We got to figure out what kind of family we're going to be. Complete confidence. I trust the coaches and the players that will hope we have, have a great positive se season. Oh, I, I can't wait. I, I can't wait. We're going to definitely show out this season, and I'm really excited to see what this team holds.